So what are the ways that we see marketers now rethink the way that they use uh, creativity and personalization and in, uh, in kind of the future of television is by first of all understanding that viewers expect something more unique to them. I think that uh, right now in every type of digital product, doesn't matter if it's uh, Facebook or Instagram or, or Uber, people expect uh, the, that the experience that they have in front of them would be something tailor-made to them. This is not different in television, uh, let alone uh, ad-supported television. You expect to get the right show's recommendation in front of you and at the, same, at the same time you expect to get a message that is relevant to you and that speaks in the tone that, uh, that's relevant to where you are. So then uh, you, marketers need the technology in order to, uh, in order to do that and that's, uh, that's a lot of the focus that we're, we're bringing is uh, to help marketers, uh, again, live up for that dream and to do that, uh, uh, to do that personalization at scale. I think there's still more um, to learn, but what I would say is we're first leaning into data-driven targeting approaches and making sure that that, not only are we nuanced in terms of the data and the way we're targeting certain segments, but also in the creative messaging we're served. It does me no good to slice and dice the audiences based on their past purchase history um, and then not serve them creative that's unique to where they are, both within their journey, but as well as within the category. Yeah, so for us, it, it's, um, it's all about our audience and the U.S. Hispanic audience and, and focusing on, on their needs and their, uh, each brand's journey through that uh, understanding of the audience and growing with that audience. So uh, it really varies, but a lot of it is, is producing everything at once for all the different platforms and then creating you know, uh, edits and capabilities for each platform specifically. What I think is the most exciting thing about today's Converge TV landscape is the ability to blend together all forms of TV. Um, that means that people are starting to understand that you can make TV advertising interactive, you can make TV advertising personalized, and when you really tap into CTV, which is the best of both worlds, it's the best of digital in terms of better targeting, better measurement, better optimization, and the best of linear TV, this big screen, high impact quality environment. Um, we're really starting to see that moving the needles in terms of business metrics. Uh, we're really focused on advanced television, we're focused on advanced creativity, and what we're seeing is that when advertisers add elements of interactivity and elements of personalization into their TV advertising, it works. I'd say the future of creativity is really inspirational. I would say humanistic. Yes, in one word, future of creativity, uh, helping. Yeah, I, I think it all comes down to experience. Um, you know, whether it's marketing or it's uh, content that consumers are watching, they need to have a, a positive and memorable experience, otherwise it's not effective. And, you know, the rise of streaming has really created the opportunity to test lots of new formats and environments, and many of those, uh, those new formats uh, will probably fail. Uh, but the ones that succeed, I think, are going to redefine video advertising as we know it. When I think about the places where marketers should be excited about uh, advanced creative uh, techniques, uh, I would say uh, you can think about that the, those devices that allows you for streaming are places where, where users are, um, are familiar with the idea of engagement because they hold a remote and they change things, change uh, the app, change the, uh, change the show that they're watching very frequently. So that opens the door for better engagement. The U.S. Hispanic audience has certain characteristics that, that make creative um, really interesting, right? So, so there's, there's a propensity to, um, for group viewing. There's a propensity for um, family decision making. Um, and so some of the sort of very personalized optimization strategies with our audience, we actually go the other way and look for things that unite our audience around, um, you know, key cultural moments and, and um, things where they come together. So our, goal, our job is to bring people together um, less than it is right now of sort of picking them off and speaking to them individually.